We've got eight massive profit trade-ups, starting off here with the first one, which is going to be 172% profitability. We're going to be heading on over to the Revolution Collection. Now, for this one, I'll be completely honest, you might want to throw a factory new skin in here just to get your float a little bit more obtainable, because we're going to be looking for 10 minimal wear skins in stat track. I went with 32 cents for a buy order, 0 0.087 or below. Now, for this one, that's going to make all of your outcomes a significant amount of profit, except for that R8 Banana Cannon. I say you might want to throw a couple factory new skins, or at least one in there because we're going to be making $2.31 per trade up on average and most of that's going to be coming from the M4A1S Emphasaurus which is almost a $10 profit on a $3 trade up. Let's go get it. Here we are for trade up number one right here. Now it's going to get significantly more expensive and more profitable after this one in terms of money wise but this one was just too crazy not to throw in here. And of course, we get the one outcome where we don't make money. Skin Swap is today's sponsor, and they're also sponsoring you with a free bonus for signing up with the first link in the description. They're the premier place for CSGO and Rust skins, with a massive trading site and a top-of-the-line marketplace, offering you the most competitive rates out there and a massive 40% bonus when you're using that link in the description. Combine that with their top-of-the-line selling feature with many payout options, and their trading feature legitimately taking you just about a minute, and there's no reason not to sign up with that first link in the description. No worries at all in trade-up number two though because it's a no-risk trade-up. For this one, we're gonna be heading on over to the Glove Collection. We're looking for 10 minimal wear skins, 0 0.0933 or below on the float, and that's going to make sure that we get all of our outcomes in factory new. But for this one, I went with a 58 cent buy order. That's roughly where you're gonna wanna be at. You can go a couple cents higher, but I really wouldn't suggest doing much more than 60. Now coming down to our outcomes, as I mentioned before, they're all going to be profit, and they're all actually relatively even in price. We're gonna be looking for the FAMAS Mecha industries for a little bit of extra profit coming in at $1.26, but we're still going to be getting $1.13 or $1.17 for the other two outcomes, which is still a decent amount of profit, especially for a no-risk trade-up. Here we are for our second trade-up. Now, obviously, we can't lose on this one, but there's going to be a couple risky-ish ones after this that are a little bit more profitable, but still... It's nice to finally get some profit, and I think that's still the worst outcome, but we'll take it. Trade-up number three is exactly what we need. It's going to be a super high profit and a super low risk. For this one, we're going to be going in stat track, and we're going to be heading out over to two collections. First up, five factory new skins from the Chroma 3 collection. For these ones, 0 0.04 or below on the float is exactly where you're going to want to be, and a 93 cent buy order is what I personally went with. You can go a couple cents higher, as always. I just really wouldn't suggest going too much for those, because the other five skins are going to be coming from the Broken Fang collection. These ones, a dollar or 99 cents is going to work perfectly here and 0.1 or below on the float. These ones are probably going to be a little bit harder to get than those Chroma Collection skins, but when we come down to our outcomes, we can see exactly why things are going crazy here. If we hit anything from the Broken Fang Collection, it's going to be profit, especially that op exoskeleton coming in at almost $20 worth of profit. And if we're not able to pull something like that, we're really hoping to hit that Black Tie or the Gross Crusader because those are going to be the only two profit outcomes from the Chroma Collection. And if we hit the Fireflight, the Reentry, or the Red Astor, it's going to be a significant significant loss, especially for those latter two. All right, here is where the risk starts to pick up a little bit. So hopefully we can hit that off, put ourselves in a good position for the rest of the video or anything from Broken Fang. Oh, no way. That is huge. That is exactly what we needed right now after that first trade up. Let's see if we can continue with trade up number four. We're going to be heading on over to the stat track version of the Prisma and the CS20. We're going to be looking for six Prisma collection skins in minimal wear, 0.095 or below on the float for these ones. I went with a 74 cent buy order. That's roughly what I was seeing as kind of market price for these ones. And we're looking for four factory new skins. These ones are going to be a little tough. 84 cents for a buy order. You do have to use a buy order here. And for these these ones 0 0.0325 or below on the float. It's a little bit restrictive, so if you get your minimal wares a little bit lower, you'd have more room for these factory new skins. Now, coming down to our outcomes, we're looking for that op Aetheris. If we can continue once again, hit back to back really low percentage odds for a huge profit, that would be absolutely insane. Otherwise, the Desert Eagle Light Rail or the Agent from the CS20 collection is going to be good. Otherwise, we're looking at a lot of loss here. We've only got a 32% chance to actually make some profit, so let's go see what we do. All right, we even upped our odds from 10% on the last trade up to hit that big money to 12% here. Let's see if that makes a difference and we can walk away doubling up. Ah, oh, that is not what we were looking for. Unfortunately, that's going to be a loss on this one. It's a risky day for trade-up. Trade-up number five is going to be very similar to the past two. We're going to be heading on over to the stat track version of the Snake Bite and the Chroma 2. For the Snake Bite, we're looking for 10 minimal wear skins, 0.1 or below on the float here. 52 cent buy order for these ones is exactly where you're going to want to be. And the other five skins coming from the Chroma 2 collection, 79 cents on a buy order for a factory new skin below 0.04. These ones, honestly, I didn't have too much issue getting. When we come down to our outcomes, it's a little bit interesting 
investing here. That's because we've got a 44% chance of making profit, but the truth is we're only going to be making profit on one skin. That's the AK Slate. If we hit the Worm God, the Heat, or the Trigger Discipline, it's roughly going to be breaking even. Trigger Discipline is a couple bucks. Otherwise, we really want to avoid that UMP Grand Prix because that's going to be less than a dollar, and we really can't afford that after that pass trade up, but let's go at it. Let's see our slate. All right, let's get this one. This one is honestly a little bit more risky than I would prefer for a video like this, but the chance to hit that slate is too good. Oh, that is not good. Oh man, that's a pretty significant loss right there. That is unfortunate. Trade up number six, we're heading back to Old Reliable. This one is going to be a trade up we saw earlier in Stat Track. We're heading on over to the glove collection once again, 0 0.0933 or below for 10 minimal wear skins. $1.35 is the buy order I went with here. And the reason we're returning to it is because it's significantly more profitable in the Stat Track version. That's because we're going to be seeing a little bit of a price discrepancy between the Shallow Grave and the Wasteland Princess. We're looking at a $5 win if we hit the Shallow Grave and only about a buck fifty if we hit the wasteland princess once again let's go ahead let's see it and let's finally walk away with a significant amount of profit on a no risk trade up all right let's go ahead and finally not see that wasteland princess although it is valentine's day let's see it Hey, it's right in the middle. We'll take it. It's a decent amount of profit, especially for a no risk trade up. Trade up number seven is the big daddy of them all when it comes to percentage profit. For this one, we're going to be heading on over to the stat track versions of the revolver and the spectrum one. We're going to be looking for six revolver skins. These ones I went with a 67 cent buy order and 0.095 or below on the float is rather obtainable, especially for the revolver. It's unboxed a lot. The other four skins are going to be coming from the spectrum collection. These ones were looking 0.0325 or below on the float in factory new, obviously, and these ones an 80 five cent buy order is exactly what I went with. Coming out to our outcomes, we've got a massive amount of outcomes, but the truth is we're going to be breaking that down pretty simple. Anything from the revolver is good, especially that Negev or the Avalanche. The other ones are kind of okay. Otherwise, if we hit something from the Spectrum Collection, it has to be the Galil or the UMP. Otherwise, we're going to be walking away with a little bit of a loss, but honestly, nothing too crazy considering it's an $8 trade up and we're going to be making some massive money if we can hit that Negev. All right, we've got them all loaded in, ready to go. Hopefully, you've hit that like button if you have not already. Let's see it. Ah, that's an exact break even, I know that for sure, but honestly, you can't be too upset when this happens. And lastly, we've got one trade up from the Kilowatt Collection. It's not super profitable and it's extremely volatile, which is why it's not earlier in the video, but we're going to be grabbing five field tested skins, 0 0.205 or below on the float, and I went with $3.50. Don't look at the prices here because they're almost guaranteed to be cheaper by the time you're watching this video. And I went with five minimal wear skins from the Dreams and Nightmares Collection, 51 cent buy order, 0 0.095 here. Coming out to our outcomes, if we hit a 50 50 from the Kilowatt, we're going to be making profit if we hit it from the dreams and nightmares we're going to be losing remember these prices are volatile do it at your own risk and here we are let's see it boom perfect way to end off the day that's massive profit for this trade up and the whole video absolutely insane I want to thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day